What's going on everybody? This video is going to be on Ghost's nickel 335 defense that was so dominant for him in the Redskins Club Series. Now quick shout out to David Dons and Tay McCullough for the idea to do this video on Ghost's defense. I apologize if I mispronounced your names. Uh, but definitely guys, don't forget to leave a comment if there is something you would like to see me go over or break down because I do read the comments and there's a good chance I will end up making a video on it if you suggest it. So once again, thank you to those two guys. But now getting into Ghost's defense, a lot of Nickel 335 Tampa 2 and I talked about it on uh, the Twitter page that I run. I do run a Twitter page called Competitive Madden Stats and basically I just tweet out infographics about you know different data and stats from the different Madden tournaments, the Madden Challenge, the Club Series, stuff like that. And so I talked about it on there where Ghost had 17 sacks in two games, so eight and a half sacks per game. And he was getting to the quarterback ridiculously quickly on average. It was a 2.62 second uh, sack to snap time or snap to sack time rather uh, from whenever the, the offense snapped the ball to when they were getting sacked. So very, very aggressive defense that was getting to the quarterback very quickly for him. And basically a lot of it revolved around him sending, you know, five or six defenders. And what he would do, as you can see right here, is he would take this linebacker and he would hover over either the right guard or the left guard and just try to occupy them for a half a second to a second and basically screw up the offensive line blocking. So that guard would get his attention shifted to Ghost's user defender and then when Ghost would drop off, basically that guard would then, like his process is messed up now. He doesn't immediately go to who he should be blocking. He kind of sits there for a while. A lot of times he'll double team the nose tackle, which allows for a weak side defender to squeak in through the crack. So that's what you're going to see right here in his first round matchup against Greg Gatsby, you see he occupies the right guard. So the right guard looked at Ghost for like a half a second. Now he's kind of shifting. He's looking at double teaming the nose tackle. And he's actually not even blocking anybody until just now. So now he's double teaming the nose tackle. And in this case, Ghost sent six and Gatsby blocked six. So hypothetically, he should have the numbers, but now he's got two guys double teaming one guy. So somebody's gonna come free. In this case, it's gonna end up being this guy coming up right here, this linebacker through what's well, actually the A gap since that left guard shot out. And what you're gonna see here is it looks like his running back's gonna have to block him, but his running back actually peels off to block another guy who just block shedded his left tackle, which allows him to come in through the gap. Gatsby goes for the throw right as he gets hit and it happens to fly right into, you know, Ghost's defender's hands, ends up being a scoop and score for seven. And that pretty much puts the game on ice right there. But that was Ghost's main go-to tactic was occupy one of the guards with that heavy blitz and essentially it was almost impossible for Gatsby to pick up. So right here a little later in the same game you're going to see the same exact blitz set up from Ghost. So Ghost is going to go ahead hover over the right guard with his user defender, blitz the middle linebacker, blitz the outside linebacker and the cornerback is going to be coming in off the edge. So once again a six man blitz and this time Gatsby actually blocks seven and what you're going to see is that he actually picks it up but then this is what goes hand in hand with what a lot of people are complaining about right now with nickel 335 is the fact that you can put the defensive line on aggressive with little to no repercussions and so even whenever Gatsby was able to pick up you know Ghost's five or six man pressure by blocking you know seven he was still getting block shedded insanely quickly so that's what you're going to see right here Ghost actually occupies the right guard once again they double team the nose tackle but this time because he blocked seven he has the weak side numbers on the left to pick up everybody but what you're going to notice is how quickly Ghost's left end ends up shedding Gatsby's right tackle right here. And that's going to be a product of the aggressive offensive line. So his blitzers are still coming through. You see his running back hasn't even, you know, engaged with this blitzer right here. And already his defensive end has thrown his right tackle to the side and, is, and, and has a clear pass angle or a clear rush angle rather straight to uh, Gatsby's quarterback and even Michael Vick not going to be able to get out of the pocket quick enough and he's going to end up losing 14 yards right there to a Lamar Woodley sack so that was the you know complimentary part of this nickel 335 and what makes it so tough is not only the blitzes that come out of it and how kind of unpredictable it is as to who's going to come free on any given play but also the fact of the aggressive pass rush that even when you do pick up the pressure you're still going to get block shedded within, you know, a second or two, and you're still going to have pressure right in your face. Now, last but not least, this is going to be from Ghost's championship matchup against Buck Sweep, and it's going to be a similar blitzing concept, but this time from the left side. He's going to hover over the left guard with his user defender, and what that's going to do is basically 
Buxweep does a good job of recognizing Ghost's blitzing patterns. And so you're going to have the hover right there. Ghost is going to blitz the cornerback on the outside and then this right linebacker off the edge. So it's a five-man rush this time. But what Buxweep does is he's in this shotgun spread look. And basically he knows Ghost cannot get out to this receiver right here if he's running a seam route. The only receiver that Ghost can get to if they're running a seam route is the left slot since he's now hovering the left guard. So what that does for Buxweep is Buxweep actually does a good job of completing a pass here in the seam to that right slot receiver. But the blitz in practice and in theory still works. You're going to see Ghost's defender still come in. That left guard gets sucked into a double team onto the defensive end with the left tackle. And that's what happens a lot of times with that hover defender. They get sucked into a double team on a guy and which allows another free rusher to come in. So right here, the cornerback actually comes in off the edge. And you can still see uh, this linebacker actually came in right through the middle. So Ghost actually had two free defenders coming in on Buck Sweep. Now Buck Sweep did only block five. So Ghost sent five, Buck Sweep blocked five. But Ghost got two of the five in for free. Right here, Buck Sweep makes a good read, throws it quick in the seam, has to throw a low pass. It's still a hard throw, especially with a low pass. Potentially under pressure, a lot of room for an underthrow or an overthrow right to Ghost's safety. So it's the kind of high pressure style defense that forces mistakes right here. Fortunately for Buck Sweep, his receiver or his defender, his quarterback rather, makes a good throw. His receiver holds onto the ball in traffic, and ends up getting a nice decent gain, almost a first down. But that's just the kind of plays you're going to have to make against this style of defense because it's so aggressive, so in your face. You're going to have to throw the ball quick and you're going to have to throw the ball into tight windows, potentially under pressure. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed as always. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget to leave a comment if there's anything specific you'd like to see me break down because I do go through the comments and will likely make a video on it if you suggest it. So once again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys, take it easy.